Topaz Mountain right there. I visited this area last year. I don't think we got too much snow out here, so I'll be coming out here a lot more. Today I'm doing the Pony Express Trail, Utah West Desert. This is something I've wanted to do for like six or seven years now. Finally getting a chance to do it. Finally have the car for it. Rock hounding site right there. My goal is to find some topaz soon. Probably not till next summer. So this isn't the Pony Express route yet. This turns into a flower spar road. Then it goes up to the Pony Express, and then we're gonna be going back east on the Pony Express route. Right now we're headed west on the Brush Highway. of Topaz Mountain right here. I'm heading towards the Pony Express route. There's going to be a lot to see today. I have a feeling already this video will be a long one. right there. It's really cool. A bunch of tailing piles. I wonder what they were mining out here besides topaz. It's a modern dozer right there. There's someone on it actually. So this is active mining going on out here. Very interesting. Another old mining area. That wood looks more modern though. It doesn't look old. Great view from up here. Very, very cool. Another active mining site right there. Wonder what they're looking for out here. If I had to guess, it's probably gold. Because there's a abandoned mining town on the other side of these mountains called Gold Hill. So, wow, look up there. That's all dug out. That is really cool. Look at all the pheasants. Look at them all. I think those are pheasants. They're either quail or pheasants. I'm pretty sure they're pheasants. They don't seem too scared. A ton of them. Like 20 of them. There he goes. The way they run is hilarious. Some sort of den there. Still haven't hit the Pony Express Trail yet, but I'm getting really close. My main issue on this entire drive today is going to be the washboards. Ugh, they were bad right there. valley. Cool looking mountains. Pony Express
Express Trail is just up here. All right, so I thought I'd do a little 360 of where I'm at. This is the road I came down. Still headed to the Pony Express Trail. Fish Springs National Wildlife Refuge is on the other side of those mountains. Pony Express route is right there. These mountains look a lot like the ones in Nevada. We're actually, this is the furthest in the West Desert that I've been in Utah. Nevada state line is only like 30 miles to the west. Won't be going that far today. Getting very close to Pony Express now. Beautiful day. It's like 60 degrees right now. And with all the wet weather that we finally had, I'm not making a lot of dust either. Alright, so we just came from Delta on the bottom, 62 miles, uh, 15 of that was the dirt road, the rest of it was paved, so I got 60 miles to go until Highway 36, that's where I'm headed. We're going to stop at the geode beds in Simpson Springs as well. I have a feeling it's going to be dark by the time I hit Highway 36, which is alright. But uh, here we go, 60 miles ahead. Our next stop is going to be the Dugway Geodeds. If I were to continue west on this road, this will eventually go into Nevada and take you all the way to it's either Sacramento or San Francisco. It goes way out there. I'll have to bring extra fuel for that if I ever want to do that. That's the thing, if you ever go west of this point, bring extra fuel. Extra food, obviously, and water, because there's nothing out here. This isn't the middle of nowhere, this is miles away from nowhere. This is just a national backcountry byway sign. Really cool. Temperature is starting to drop, but not enough to make me uncomfortable. Shouldn't get below 30 during this whole trip. It's like 55 right now. Once the sun goes down, it's gonna drop. All right, Dugway Geobeds, let's go. Here's one of the many stops along the Pony Express route. This was one of the areas where they would switch out the horses. Black Rock Station. And if you want to read everything, just pause the video. Some sort of watering trough thing out there. Really interesting. There's a road right there. It's called the Lincoln Highway. You can only go so far up that road because it turns into the Dugway Proving Grounds, which is a military test and training area kind of like Area 51. There's borders and you'll just have to turn around and come right back here so that's why I'm not heading that that way. Proving grounds are actually up there. That's called Granite Mountain right there and that is where they store nuclear waste. One of the not so good things in the West Desert. 
But uh, coming up here, I'm going to start looking out for wild horses. And the geode beds are only a few miles up the road. I'm going to see if we can go find some geodes. Okay, so here's another historic marker. If you want to read what this says, pause the video. Dugway geode beds are right there. I see someone out there. There's a lot of dust too. Might be able to find something around here actually. Some cool colors in the ground. Alright, so we made it 10 miles from that sign so far. We got 50 more miles until Highway 36. Long way to go. It is definitely going to be dark. So I'm going to stop at the geo beds and look for just a little while. I think it's going to be sunset right when we hit Simpson Springs. All right. Let's see what's down here. Kind of bumpy road. All right, here's a map of the geode beds. Not sure how far back I'll go, just because the sun's gonna start going down soon. I'll go back there a little ways and just see what I can see. Alright, here's the geode pit. Some really cool looking rocks. Gonna take a quick look around and head out. I'm not gonna spend too much time here. The sun's dropping quick. Pit number two. Very cool. So here's kind of an example of what you're looking for if you ever come out. This isn't really a geode, but it's it's like quartz. So what you want is really sparkly, shiny crystals just to be on the outer edge of it. You want this to kind of be hollow, and this is just full of quartz. But uh, that's kind of a neat example. That's the only thing I could really find. Because I'm not really out here to look for too long. Sun's going down. I got like two hours of daylight left, so let's head to Simpson Springs now. Alright, so that's going to do it for the Dugway Geode Beds. We're going to continue to head east on the Pony Express Trail towards Simpson Springs. I have got two hours of daylight left, so I've got plenty of time actually. Another historical marker here. <clears throat> if you want to read it, just pause the video. Now this is the camping spot here. Because look at the view. Oh yeah. I'm going to have to come up here sometime. In the spring or summer next year. Oh yeah. This is the spot here. Amazing. We're so far out here you can't even see the Wasatch Front yet. We're pretty high up too. 
Really cool looking road going down. Simpson Springs is on the other side of those mountains. And we got about another hour and a half of daylight. This is the spot right here. I will be back. This is so cool. goes south here that I'll have to check out. Delta is where I came from. I also came from that way. I just went through those mountains. And I'm still heading east towards Simpson Springs. Interesting silo over here. And it looks like a feeding trough. I'm gonna check that out. There's definitely horses around here. This is what I came, also came out to look for. I actually think I see them. I'm gonna go down there. Let me check this out really quick. Yeah, definitely a feeding trough. No water storage right there. And that's a well, actually. Look at this. Yeah, this is a dredge right here. Looks like an oil dredge, but it's, it's definitely for water. I don't think they're drilling for oil out here. Very cool. Don't usually see that. Very cool. I think those are the horses out there. I want to go check that out. Get those on film. All right, we made it to Tooele County, but there's a road here, and there are horses right down there. Part of the wild horses out here. I zoomed in as far as I could before I started filming to see if that was definitely them, and it's definitely them. I'm gonna get closer here. This is as close as I can get. I'm zoomed in all the way. Those are definitely horses right there. Got some chilling right there. You can see the rest of them way out there. Look at them all. Wow. Too bad they're not closer to the road. There are a ton of them out there. Past this first group, you can just see a ton of them. Very cool. Not doing much though, not a whole lot of activity. Really cool though. You can see them way out there. Alright, I'm gonna keep going. Maybe I'll see some more closer I get to Simpson Springs. Getting a little closer to Simpson Springs. stop and watch the sunset. Love it out here. I still have not seen a single person yet, if you could believe that. 
the entire time I've been out here all day. You know, for, for being a backcountry national historic byway, this road is not in great shape. usually encounter bumpy roads like this, but this is just awful. You can see the dust I'm picking up behind me. Super, super bumpy. Alright, so here's another station. Historical marker. I'm gonna get out and take a picture of the plaque. If you want to read it, pause the video. About to go up that road there, continuing to Simpson Springs. Not sure I'm going to make it there by sunset because it's pretty much sunset right now. Gorgeous here though. There's another road I'll have to check out. It goes to Little Sahara. Nice thing is these are the kind of roads I can do in the winter time because we barely get any snow out here. It's a horse right there. So cool. trying to film that bird. It was flying in the shadow of the car for like the last half a mile. There it is again. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Alright, so here's what I wanted right here. Up close and personal. Wrong window. <laughs> watching where I'm driving, driving over boulders. <laughs> oh yeah. This is the West Desert right here. Again, sorry about the filming. I'm trying my best. <laughs>
circus is going to come out pretty good. It's too bad they're running away though. They're they're running away from the road. They're still paralleling it, but oh yeah, they're fighting. There's a brawl going. Come on, man! If only I could get closer. I gotta get up here. This is as close as I'll get. I gotta just stop and film. And there they go. Man, that's cool. They seem to have a trail. Maybe I can get up a little more. They might be running up to the spring, which is what I'm trying to get to as well. Sorry. I'm trying my best. <laughs> Oh yeah, that was what I wanted right there. This is so cool. Man, I got something really cool behind me to film. Let me get a couple more shots. More horses right here coming up. Little, little one. And a really nice sunset. Look at my dust. That's all from me. <laughs> that is so cool. I have to get a picture of that. Yeah, those other horses went up over that mountain, so these are the only ones I can film for now. Sorry about the bad camera work, I'm trying my best. <laughs> Got some little ones. These ones aren't taking off like the other ones. Man, this is cool. Yeah, those other horses are gone. I don't know where they went. Well, unexpected. Very cool day. I don't know what those things are out there that are shining. Could be power lines of some sort or... That is the Dugway... Oh, I know what it is. It's the fence line for the Dugway Proving Grounds. So people don't go in there. Man, this is so cool. Made it to Simpson Springs. There's a campground up here I want to go check out. And that's 
the road. Oh wow, the fence line comes up to right there. Very interesting. Dugway proving ground right there. Wow. Let's check this out. All right, I'm gonna do a panorama of this valley at sunset from Simpson Springs. You can see a night and day difference right there at the fence line, Dugway Proving Grounds. It's where they test all the chemical weapons, stuff like that. A lot of, a lot of dark history with the Dugway Proving Grounds. Campground is up here somewhere. And like I said earlier, when that sun hits that mountain, the temperature drops quick. It is cold now. Well, a gorgeous sunset here at Simpson Springs. So here's the entrance to the campground. Let's see what's up here. Another gorgeous sunset view. You can see someone coming down the Pony Express Trail. And then those lights you can see out there is the military base. The Dugway Proving Ground. We got this interesting thing over here. If you want to read this sign, pause the video, of course. It's kind of hard to read. Don't know what this was. So eerily quiet out here, and I love it. It's just so cool. I'll have to come out here one night next spring and summer and camp. Although this is a popular spot, I like camping where there's no people. So the spring is down there. Looks like it's a hot spring because I can see a little bit of steam. And there's the station over there. I'm gonna go over there in a little while. And then there's more camping spots further up you go. This is a whole recreation area, so you can bring your ATVs and go up in the hills right there. Ooh, the temperature's dropping quick. Sunsets out in the West Desert are never bad. Time to put on a sweatshirt. So I think I've talked about the history of the Dugway Proving Grounds a little bit, but uh, in the description of this video, I'm gonna put some articles about the darker history of it and what they did to the Indians and stuff. So that's the uh, the Army Airfield right there. That light that you can see is the tower, I'm pretty sure. And then it just goes further on behind those mountains. There's more airfields. This area became famous for uh, accidentally shipping live anthrax across the globe. So 
So it took me about two and a half hours to get here from when I started the road. And Simpson Springs is the halfway point from there to Highway 36. So the rest of this is going to be night driving, which I'm okay with. Beautiful night for it. Those clouds over there are nice. I'm not going to be doing as much stopping as I did on my way over here, of course. I'm going to wait here until it gets a little darker. I can get some better shots of the lights down there. That's also known as Area 52. Of course, Area 51 is in Nevada. That's where I was last week. This isn't as strictly protected by security guards as Area 51 is. But you can definitely see some lights down there. I'm going to zoom in. See if you can see the tower. A little focus. Yeah, you can definitely see a couple towers. Gonna wait for the sun to go down a little more. It's too bad that that's all fenced off because those mountains look really cool to check out. Beautiful clouds. I've been here for a good 20 minutes and the sunsets kind of stayed the same. So I know this has been a long video. I know the long videos tend to drag out when I do them. But I hope the timestamps helped out. I think I might start doing that from now on where I put timestamps in the beginning of the video. I do this so I can show some friends in Florida the Great West. But I also do it for me so I can look back on drives that I've been on and stuff that I've seen. Alright, I'm going to wait for it to get a little darker. I'm going to be driving back at night regardless. The uh, grocery store, they sell these nice little self-burning fire logs that you can just light and you don't have to add any other wood because they burn for two hours by themselves and they don't create sparks either so they're they're safe to burn out here. I'll have to do that in the spring and summer. Make a little campfire. What is today? November 16th. Gorgeous. I'm gonna do one last little panorama. The last little bit of daylight we have left. It's gorgeous. Starting to see the lights down there better. But I want to wait till it's like super dark. I'm just amazed not hearing any wildlife at all, not hearing any horses. I thought for sure I'd hear some coyotes. Maybe it's because of the proving grounds. Never know. It's been a while. The sun is still going down. Been here for a good 40 minutes. It actually looks a lot brighter on my phone than it really is. 
There it is. You can see the moon right there. If it'll focus. Finally, another person. I don't know why, but my phone's making it look a lot brighter than it really is. It's making it look like it's daytime. It's it's dark. I don't know why it's. I don't know why my phone is making it look like it's so much brighter outside. There goes that person. Yeah, my phone's making it look a lot brighter than it really is out here. Got some good shots of the base now. I want to wait till it gets dark dark so my phone will pick up the lights really well. Starting to see some stars. Yeah, I want to wait till it gets even darker to get some good shots. There's a light on top of that mountain, too. They must have some sort of observatory up there. See the light up there? If it'll focus. I think it's because of the lights. There's a light up there. Very interesting. That's why I want to wait till it gets darker. Once again, my phone's making it look a lot brighter than it really is. But that's a cool shot of the moon. Alright, it's finally dark enough where I can get a night shot of Area 52. It's not as clear as I hoped it would be. Try and zoom in as far as I can. But that looks like their airport right there. Flashing light. Yeah, that's definitely their airport. And there's other stuff over here, part of the installation. And then up there, they've got some sort of tower or something on that mountain. And then there's other hangars out here. It is really staticky. That's Area 52 at night right there. And saying good night to Simpson Springs here. Can't see much, but the stars are out. It is gorgeous. I don't think I'd be able to really film them, but just gorgeous. Time to head home. I'm gonna drive the last 25 mile stretch of the trail at night. Probably not going to see much because it's at night, obviously. There is last shot at Area 52 at night. I actually don't mind driving this late at night because you can actually see the big rocks on the road and avoid them. driving with the sun you can't really see him because you can't see the shadow. There's the actual town of Dugway. And that's the town you need military clearance to get into. Can't see the base anymore because it's blocked by the mountain. 
but I wish I could film the stars. The stars are amazing right now. See the entire Milky Way, everything. It's awesome. Still continuing up this road. Got to go over Lookout Pass still, and I'll be at uh, I'll be at Highway 36, headed back to Salt Lake. Alright, so I'm currently on Lookout Pass. You can see the town of Dugway behind me. And then looking to the east, that's the town of Vernon. I'm gonna go down the pass. Only got like not even 10 more miles until we hit the highway. Been a really fun day. So it was 50 degrees on the top of Lookout Pass. Now it's 36 in Rush Valley. Seems kind of odd. I just dropped a thousand feet and it got colder. Usually it's the other way around. But uh, I guess that means I'll be able to drive up there in the wintertime a lot more.